Chapter 6 The summer was pretty damn hot, but not so hot folks had to lay out bags of ice to sleep on or put their shirts in the freezer, Cheech and Chong style. It wasn't so cold you had to piss on your hands to move your fingers. Everything was bearable if you thought on those who really had to suffer, like the aged and infirm, or people trapped under debris after an earthquake, or the people who loved them and searched in vain. Water was much harder in other parts of the world, harder and harder to find. In America, you had only to sweat and drink and bitch about the failure of another transformer and wait and hope you wouldn't die an absolute death or a death out of love. Hope any addictions were still in the insidious stages. There were nights when Raccoon was left stranded. Will's shoes were made for walking, yet the sound of repeated gunfire on late nights he was out inevitably curtailed his desire to walk home to remove the wood that barred his back door and turn the bolt to give the house back to the cat. She was tough. She made him proud, his tiger, and he sat with his back to the stove and held out the horizon of his palm for her to walk under. He essayed to make her life as wild and undomesticated as possible. He rarely pushed her off his papers or the furniture. Pushes never did nothing for nobody who never wanted to go where they were pushed. If they did, was no good reason to push. Everyone had their own way of coping with the meaninglessness of life. Some gave themselves over to a higher power of their own or another's creation. Others burned and burned the thought from their heads in the stream of self-destruction. Most tried to run, and few, among whom was he, sacrificed their time and energy to fulfill absurd, irrational, meaningless dreams, full of purpose and vision, in their highest form, yet crazed, misunderstood by all but the dreamer and cherish the tortured, beautiful days of creation that both killed and resurrected time and offered fear with earth to stand on. Then, with the pen, he defeated fear.